Ci troviamo con Valnes alla Vazen durante il raduno della eh, nazionale eh, norvegese. Mm, how is going your summer training? Uh, is your first time here? It's my first time in Lava yes. So um, yeah, it's fine here. So I'm, I'm enjoying the camp here. And how is going your summer training? Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been uh, almost perfect for me. Yeah. Um, Shape has been good, and I have I have uh, done all the training I have planned. So um, yeah, it's uh, it has almost gone too well. Um, the World Championship in Oberzhov, there you won uh, two medals. So uh, how important w uh, uh, are for you that could, uh, two medals? It's important for the for the um, motivations and for the self confidence. Yeah, so. Uh, Yeah, it uh, it's nice to have a good feeling at the start of the new training season. So I've enjoyed it a lot, but it's uh, clean slates and uh, on to the next season. So uh, it it was in yeah, May June. So, but uh, the feeling is very good when the training season started. For you, it's the first summer with the target of Olympic Games. So, what do you mean for you? What you're feeling now? Uh, yeah, to be training for the Olympics is um, it's uh, yeah, it's quite special. It, uh, Olympics is is the biggest you can uh, participate in. So uh, the motivation is for that is as good as it can be. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to um, try to be in the. Um, Yeah, try to get to the Olympics, yeah. Uh, how important is for you to work with Klebo, the best sprinter? <laughs> yeah, we are, uh, we are uh, all the sprint team together. Is, uh, um, we are lucky to have each other. And of course to have Johannes, who is the, is the best sprinter ever. So uh, I think uh, in sprint training it's, it's man against man and a very... Uh, yeah, you get the answers very quickly who, who where you stand in the group. So, um, yeah, uh, we are we are training together and we we are matching each other and pushing each other. So, we are really lucky to have Johannes and we are really lucky to have each other, everyone. So uh, we are a strong group and yeah. Um, uh, Yeah, so I think we will be strong for the winter. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Pellegrino um, and his choice to work with the Russia team? I think uh, clearly um, th uh, there are <laughs> very strong athletes in the Kramer group, so uh, so he he has some more very strong athletes to train with, so. Uh, it's uh, clearly a smart choice from him, him I think. Um, are you working to improve in the distance too? Yeah, I do. Um, I have done some good distance races the last season, so uh, it gives me motivations to try to be a better distance racer, of course, too. So uh, I do not uh, train. Uh, 800 hours a year to just compete in three minutes so <laughs> it's fun to be um, doing longer races too so I I do train for for that as well but uh, maybe with uh, with the eyes pointing in in the future yeah. um, I, I, you had good results during the summer for example uh, in the Topi des Vega in the Skyatron too Yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah, there was a big pack, so it was like a sprint at the at the end. So it wasn't the hardest race, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to be to be uh, in the front of the finish there. So uh, it uh, yeah, I think I show some some strength there. So it's yeah, it's really good to to be in good shape and uh, and show that I can. Uh, yeah, skate as well long distances. Uh, the last question is about uh, you, uh, your 
Can you describe your passion for cross country? Uh, how did you start to practice and after you to race? How I did start to race? Yeah. It was uh, it was very natural. I have a father who uh, was um, he was actually in the junior national team with my coach Ariel. So uh, um, so it was uh, it was um, very natural. I I have always been skiing, but I remember of course the first competition when I was like eight years. Uh, my father asked me if I wanted to uh, join a competition in. In my hometown, so uh, and I did, and uh, it was <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So, uh, so that was the start, and I have never looked back.